hello guys in this video we will be learning that how can we extract frame by frame information or frame by frame images through a webcam so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all you have to begin by importing your open cv so i'm going to write import cv2 after that i have to create a webcam object so i'm, I'm going to name the variable as webcam and in order to read the webcam or in order to open my webcam i'm going to use my cv2 dot video capture method and inside this since i'm using only one webcam so i'm going to pass here zero which is my default webcam to specify that i'm using my default webcam and then i'm going to define another variable whose name is going to be current frame and i'm going to assign it to be zero and this variable will tell me that on what particular frame I am present. So now I am going to create a loop. So all of you must be knowing that whenever we are uh, reading a video object or whenever we are or whenever we are reading or opening a webcam, we have to create a loop. So I am going to make that loop only. Uh, if you have a doubt in this particular concept, then you can watch my previous videos in which I have explained how can you open videos or a webcam. That will definitely help you out. Now I am going to create a loop. I'm going to write here while true that is this will uh, this loop is going to run until and unless my condition is true and after that I'm going to define two new variables the first one is going to be success and this is a uh, success is a boolean variable that is the value of a success is going to be either true or false and then my other variable is frame which contains my frame by frame information now I will get the values of these two variables through my read method so i am going to apply my read method on my webcam object what read method is going to do is that it is going to capture frame by frame information image by image information of my video a video is basically fast moving images so dot read method is going to extract that frame by frame information out of my webcam and assign the values inside my frame after that i have to save my uh, images inside a folder so i'm going to write here cv2 dot i am right so this will save my uh, images that i'm going to that i'm going to capture through my webcam so i'm going to write here cv2 dot i am right and after that i have to name my images so i'm going to name my images as a uh, frame and then i'm going to write here a string which is uh, going to tell me what current frame it is so since i am just started so i am going to write here current frame and then i have to write here jpeg and after that i am going to write here frame so what this line is going to do is that it is going to name each or each and every image that i am going to extract or that i am going to save from my webcam as frame current frame and the last extension that is, that is going to be my jpeg so my current frame is uh, initially zero after that when i'm going to move towards my next image i'm going to increment my current frame so earlier my current frame was zero then it is going to be incremented to one and then uh, two three four and so on i want my loop to be over or i can say i want to break my loop whenever i press my when i press my q key so I'm going to write here uh, if cv2 dot is going to be wait and I'm going to write here 0xff so this will ensure that whenever I press my Q button on my keyboard my video objects shuts down and then I'm going to break the loop now if I run my code uh, before running I have to disable my webcam okay now it has been disabled now i am going to run this by pressing ctrl shift and f10 or by uh, pressing the triangular icon on the upper right corner of your screen so i am going to run it and there is an error okay so there are going to be two of these signs you have to write dot in front of jpeg now if i run it you can uh, my webcam has opened and you can see from here that my code is running and you can see that my webcam has begun to capture my images but i want to stop this 
so what can I do is that I can control all delete and uh, open let me close it and let me run it again okay so uh, there was an issue in uh, closing my webcam so in order to solve that what I'm going to do is I'm going to write here cv2 dot I am show and the name of my GUI box is going to be output and I'm going to write here frame so now my webcam is going to open and I will be able to close it uh, without uh, shutting my entire code off so I'm going to press here control shift F10 now my webcam has opened and I am continuing to uh, extract my frame by frame information you can see that so uh, let me delete each and every image present except this code you can see that I am still continuing to uh, extract my frames now if I want to close my webcam so I can simply press Q and my webcam object has closed and you can see that I've extracted my frames so this is how you can extract images of frames out of your uh, webcam so we will meet in the next video until then bye bye